Uh, I'm pretty uh, I'm pretty upset right now because I'm hurting for those guys in that locker room. I know how hard they've invested. Um, I know how hard they've worked. The reality is we've gone from an average football team to a good football team to a great football team, and we've worked really hard to do those things. But we're not an elite football team yet. And as hard as we have worked to go from average to good, from good to great, the work that it's going to take to get to an elite program is going to be just as hard as the, as the ground and the, and the distance that we've already traveled. It's going to be just as hard to get there. Scratch and claw and fight. And right now, we're, comfort we're comfortable being great. And I'm going to make sure that everybody in our program, including myself, is very uncomfortable because you only grow in life when you're uncomfortable. So we are going to break through and become an elite program by doing all the little things. Lose by one point this year, lose by one point last year. You make that up by all the little things by going to class consistently so the coaches don't have to babysit you and we can spend our time developing you as men and as people and as players and not be babysitting little things. And don't get me wrong, our guys do a great job going to class, but there's two or three guys. It's all the little things. It's all the little things that are going to matter. And we are going to find a way to get from being a great program, which we are, just so everybody's crystal clear, we're a great program. We lost to an elite program, and we're that close. We have gotten comfortable being great. We will no longer be comfortable being great. We're going to learn from this. We're going to grow from this, and we're going to find a way to take that next step as a program because we've been knocking at the door long enough. And it's my job as the head coach. I'm ultimately responsible for all of it. And I will find a way, we will find a way, and with all the support of everybody in this community and everybody on this campus and the Letterman and everybody else, we are going to get this done. I give you my word. We are going to find a way to take the next step. I can read off all these stats, but the stats don't matter. The stats don't matter. We're done being great. James, uh, have you ever been this emotional about a win or a loss in your career, whether it's been coaching or as a player? Yes, I'm an emotional guy. Yeah, I've been, I've been really angry about losses in the past. I, I'm, listen, I, I'm, obviously, I'm not mad at you guys. You know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm upset with myself because I know those guys in that locker room are hurting our assistant coaches and our players, and, and we, should, we should have finished that game. And like I said, it, it's not about the fourth and one. It's not about the fourth and five, whether we punted it or not. It's getting everybody to commit to waking up every single day and trying to be the best you possibly can be, and we haven't done that. We've gotten to a point where we are great and we're comfortable with being great. That's the issue. We, we haven't broken through with these types of programs yet. That's everything. Every single thing matters. And I'm going to be all over all of it. Myself, the coaches, the players, the, the trainers, the doctors, the facilities, the administration, all of it. Because no one's happy with this. Our fans aren't happy. I'm not happy with it. I can sit here and say it's a, a moral victory and all that because we lost to a higher-ranked team by one point. No, it's not good enough. So if I drove everybody crazy the last four years, we're going to take it to a whole nother level. James, what is the difference between great and elite? It's, it's all the details. It's all the little things. It's finding a way to overcome adversity consistently. It's, like I said, it's going to class consistently. It's getting the meetings on time. It's having your phone turned off in the meetings. It's, it's not settling for a B in a class when you could have got an A. It's taking notes in every single meeting. Every single meeting. Not because the coaches told you to do it, because you want to be great. It's the coaches making sure that that's the standard. 
And we don't ask, settle. We don't make excuses. We don't allow it to happen. There is a way to be unbelievably successful in life, in football. That's, that's what we're going to do. And we have let little things slip by. That ain't happening. Because those little things that have slipped by, it's one point last year, it's one point this year. It's not happening anymore. It's not happening anymore. You guys thought I was a psychopath in the past? You have no idea. And I, and I don't want you to take it the wrong way. I'm not saying from a negative standpoint. I'm not a negative guy. But I am going to make sure that as, as our program, that we do everything right. And we grow every single day. And we challenge ourselves every single day. And we get uncomfortable. We get comfortable being uncomfortable and break out of great to get to that next phase. It wasn't good enough. And again, I, I, I don't want anybody to misinterpret anything. I'm not blaming the players. I'm not blaming the assistant coaches. It's on me. James Franklin. James Franklin. We're going to get it done together, but ultimately I'm responsible, and I'm going to make sure it gets done, no matter what. Thank you, Coach. Thank you. Chris is like, get out of here.